Well, hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading on Libra Light. I chose you as the bonus sign today. Let's get into your love reading. I want to see what's gone on with you. This is for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising would include December babies. Christmas babies. <laughs> Welcome, Sagittarius, to the Libra Light channel. We do cover Libra every single day with some monthlies included. We also have little dailies and I chose Sagittarius because Sagittarius usually is paired well with a Libra. We're gonna to begin today with an oracle and I'm just shuffling the light seers here to get some of your story. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, and I believe it's ending there. We're gonna get you an oracle, Sagittarius. Give me a second as I shuffle, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, angels, the divine, give Sagittarius a message. I've been told to stop. This is your Oracle Sag. It is the gift card. It's a beautiful sunset here with a rock kind of perched at the very edge, okay? It reads, be present. This means be present in the moment. Be guided by the divine. Anything that is shown to you at this time, even if it is a little bird, Sagittarius, or even like some river here or water, is to show you a certain path, even some numbers here. If you're seeing 444, 222, sequences of 333, right now the synchronicities are the gifts from the divine, okay? So I'm gonna remove Libra's card here and I'm gonna put your gift card upright, okay? That is your oracle today for you to discover some of your feelings. Let's see if I could prop it up there, Sagittarius. A beautiful sunset, which is very much like you. Um, I want to include here, Sagittarius, because I feel like you're one of the signs, one of the very few signs that actually goes out and seeks adventure. And so this would sort of be your card today. It's very exemplary of your personality. Sagittariuses are very fun in personality. There's no backing down, but there's also this outdoors exploration that you love to do as a person. So even here, if you're watching and you're a Sagittarius moon or rising, I definitely feel like this is a part of your personality, that gift card that you just got. Let's keep going for the Sagittarius watching, also Sagittarius Sun as well. I feel like I'm to stop at this time. We have the Eight of Cups, Recent Past, Eight of Pentacles, Two Eights, wow. We also have the Chariot, that's Cancer Energy. Let's discuss. You have this Eight of Cups card, which is, it's telling me that you walked away from something painful and back and forth. There was a back and forth and a pain here and they went hand in hand and I feel like you decided to call it quits. Now the Eight of Cups doesn't only mean you decide to call it quits, but it's also deciding to walk away from a person. So in this love story today, and like if this is you, like the video, I feel like you decided to walk away from a counterpart that you felt one time you were really in love with, had respect for, and the Eight of Cups is signifying your last move that you just completed. Eight of Pentacles, hard at work, Developing new plans for yourself. You're also taking some special self-care moves. I feel like some of you went back to the gym recently or you're starting to really take care of yourself. So Sag, uh, there's something here about working towards a new plan. For some of you, you're coming up with a new business. So you've been hard at work trying to really believe in that again. Uh, maybe some of you had done this in the past. So you're following a formula that previously worked. We also have the chariot. This is cancer energy. Cancer babies are born in June. You're developing and harnessing sort of this energetic cancer move of the chariot. The chariot is a, is a movement card. It's also fast. There's also movement here towards something that you can't see yet, Sagittarius. So this could be a new project. You could be having a new romantic prospect. You could also be seeing things into the horizon right now that are goal-oriented toward your life. You could be wanting to be more spiritual here. You could be wanting to do music. You could be listening to more music. You could also be working out more. So there's something here about personal growth also hand in hand with what you do for work. Sagittarius, I feel like you're going to a new place, but you're also very... You're almost scared of going there, so I want to get a little bit more on your present. Sagittarius, present energy, please. Sorry, there was another card there in the deck <laughs> from Libra's reading. More for Sagittarius, please. The present feelings for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Thank you, spirit. It fell on the floor. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Libra got that, too. You could have been dealing with a Libra 
Aquarius or Gemini. That Pentacles, um, the Ten of Pentacles was given to Libra too. I kind of feel like you guys also want legacy. Ten of Swords. This is also an air card. Could have been dealing with those signs as I mentioned. This is a, this is an end of a chapter, Sagittarius, where things were really rough. You came to a completion. This was a rough cycle. This could have been karmic for some of you. This is a path, and as you can see, the lady is looking deep into the sunset. You have the sun in the background there. It's a little eerie. And if you see here, she's kind of looking towards that sun. But all these crows are saying goodbye. That's the last chapter. Sagittarius, there's something here about you wanting to move forward. There's a little bit of fear that's coming into this Ten of Swords. Uh, some of you are going in your transformational energy. That would be Scorpio as well. You could have had a Scorpio love. But as you can see here, she's looking at the sun. There's a hope to be someone better. There's a hope that you can do things better too. So something here about that with the Ten of Swords, okay? Rough cycle between you and a loved one as well is coming to me. And it was a rough ending. Sagittarius, please. Thank you. There's a couple cards that popped out for you. Three of Swords. That's what I thought. Um, some of you are still really living in the memory of this heartbreak. Some of you can't let it go as well. So there's pain here. There's also uh, previous burdens that was involved in this relationship. And this person could have created a tough time for you. Sag, where sometimes your feeling would be, if I stay in this relationship and I put this much time, maybe I'll be led into better uh, sections and chapters with this person. But I feel like all that hope just kind of tore open your heart, just like the picture. So there's something about sticking with this person for a very long time and hoping the outcome would change. But that is the definition of insanity today about going back to something that just never resolves itself. Um, and that's hard to hear Sagittarius, but I feel like that's something you dealt with. It's like hoping the person would change over time. We have here the Six of Cups. Somebody is definitely missing you today with the water energy. So this comes in as Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Uh, they do have reflections of you in the near and dear recent past. They do still think of you. I feel like for some of you, they want to write a letter or an email to reach out, even just to be a friend. But I think at this time, Sagittarius, it's good for you to stay in your own lane, to stay hermited, to stay by yourself, because this person might be doing what I call a real in to get you back, okay? Six of Cups, they're missing you. You could also have this energy too, as energies are interchangeable. And Sagittarius, what's advised right now is to stay back from the situation and wait for some more information. Okay, let's keep going for you, Sagittarius. What are some of your outcomes today? What can Sagittarius do in this situation? Should they concentrate more on the Eight of Pentacles? Should they proceed with the Chariot? Sagittarius, thank you. You're advised by your angels and the guides above to continue healing properly, to trust that spirit has a plan for you. Also, you can ask for help, Sagittarius. Sometimes our ego doesn't allow us to ask for aid and ask for this specific help. But at this time, I think you should go seek it and clear your mental space for the next few weeks. This card, the Six of Swords, is about healing, letting go, and going to safer waters. So there's something about you going to a more healed place in your life and creating an environment that's beautiful, aesthetically pleasing for you to heal in. Okay, Maybe some of you need a vacation here as well. More for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, please. We have the Emperor as your next card. This is Aries. For some reason, and I'm getting for some of you, your next romance will be an Aries counterpart. It'll be an Aries woman or an Aries man. You're being asked at this time to take this bossed up role. As you know, the game of life is chess. It's moving pieces, moving parts to make things better for you as a higher individual, higher self. So today you're being asked to embody Aries energy. This is your fellow fire sign. And um, you're being asked to stay there. Um, and I really believe you got to stay in your zone right now that's helping you, okay? Sagittarius, you all have a lot of in common cards with Libra today. You have the Knight of Cups as an outcome. Uh, I feel like someone's coming forward in the near future as a new romance and prospect for you. I believe this person is more fitted to your romance um, needs 
and your necessities at this time. It's going to be a slow romance. You might even meet this person at the gym or somewhere where you go frequently. This could be a classmate if you've gone back to school. So Sag, I feel like you're going to be having a new, fresh look at romance and you're going to be meeting someone that has, you know, the same likes that you do, likes to go hiking, likes to be adventurous and go backpacking just like you. So I feel like this new romance is coming in a beautiful girl or a beautiful man for some of you Sagittarius women. All right, let's keep going here. More for Sagittarius. What can they do here for the future? Give me advice, please, for their reading today, September 29. Sagittarius. All right, Sag, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. You have a lot of air energy and the Ten of Wands, which would be you. There's someone in your midst trying to gather information, and this could be the ex themselves. It doesn't have to be. It could be a particular person ringing in your mind. But I do feel that Sagittarius, they're kind of compiling information right now to um, maybe do research on where you went, what you're doing. If you moved, they're trying to find out where you switched addresses to. This gives me that vibe today of collecting information. I don't know if it's completely against you, but I do get this feeling that they are getting ready to use that information in the future. So just be weary of the Seven of Swords. We also have the Nine of Wands. This is your energy today. Lots of fiery energy in that stick, but there is giving me more healing energy, which means spirit wants you to go do the healing before you release all of these burdens and the fears and the anxiety. The Ten of Wands is releasing all those things, putting them back into the universe as they were negative energy for you, okay? So this is about also rowing away to safer shores, safer waters. You also have the Six of Swords clarifying that. Thank you, Sagittarius, for healing correctly today. Bottom of the deck was the Hierophant. You're following, following the uh, new contracts, new people, new spiritual guidance that you've walked into. The Hierophant is an individual that's trusting the spiritual path. You're on your way as your gift card is showing you synchronicities. Thank you so much today for tuning into Libra Light and this bonus video. If you would like more Sagittarius videos, please hit that like button so that you could get more from me. Okay, and we could circulate your videos all throughout the internet and we could break the internet. <laughs> Thank you, Sagittarius. Have a really good day today. Be blessed and remember your gifts are coming. Bye-bye.